you know, when when it was introduced, first of all, um, World Cup night uh, 28, 2018, I think, and it might have been in practice a little bit before that, but essentially we were getting to view it in 2018. And I really thought that this is going to be a, a fantastic idea. I knew that there was going to be some some pitfalls. First of all, that that the, the the spontaneity might be taken out of the game when somebody thinks they've scored a goal and then suddenly it's it's uh, it's brought back because they're half a yard offside or something like that. I thought that that was... A, and secondly, I thought there'd be a lot more penalties because players who are constantly holding on to players, other the opposition in the penalty box, that's they're not just going to stop that immediately, even if a manager tells them. So I thought that those points would be covered. Never for one minute did I think it would cause the sort of controversy that it has caused in a- absolute mayhem. And it seems... It seems as if it's 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 pondering, or it's 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 causing more problems than than that you can imagine. When a when a referee now goes over to uh, to the monitor, his chances are he's going to change his mind for whatever it may be because somebody has asked him to to see something. However, one or two have stayed stayed with their decisions. Fine, if that's the case, then. And the reason that they've stayed with the decision is because that's what they thought, subjective. It was subjective at that stage. And um, so I thought that, that I thought it was taking all subjectivity out of it. I thought that this was it. A VAR was to clear things up, mm-hmm. but seemingly it hasn't done. And the very fact that I'm telling you in a very confused manner tells you exactly what I think of VAR and what VAR thinks of us. You know, <laughs> it's not been great. Would you like to have VAR back in your day uh, when you're a Celtic manager, Martin? I'm thinking, would you think would you fancy a, a five in a row if you had VAR back then? I think I think you're dead right, man. Yes, we would have <laughs> we would have settled for that. And let me tell you, before you two were born, I would have gone back to 1982 to the World Cup in uh, in in um, in Spain when I scored a perfectly good goal against France in the quarterfinal of the World Cup. And it was disallowed, and I'm a yard onside. So where was VAR when it was? It was probably it was necessary then at that stage. However, uh, generally speaking, uh, honestly, it seems to be causing more confusion than, than than anything else. And this idea that you can be offside or onside by by a, by listen like a toenail or a, a hand or something like this here, it's it, it it's tending to take take all the as I said the, all the spontaneity out of the game. 